that's right, we're doing it again. Because in here, there is yet another iPhone 5S that I'm going to fix. This was supposed to arrive two days ago, and it belongs to my friend Izu. What could be wrong with it, you say? Because it turns on perfectly fine. Well, it doesn't connect to iTunes properly, because Daniel's already tried to do a repair on it, and it didn't work. It's also on the hello screen, and his iCloud locked. So now let's test the theory and see if it actually doesn't connect or not. Oh look, it's my laptop. Whoop. Good working cable. Plug it in. Woo! So it charges at least. And it shows up, which is also a very good start. Yeah, he doesn't know the email. This was given to him by one of his relatives, and they don't remember the password or the email. Well, this looks good though. The screen feels nice. It's definitely an original one. So now I'm gonna use the leak down method to deal with this. Install necessary files. Leak down. Woo. 10.3.3. Wow. Speed. Yeah, it's a 6, 2, so it should work fine with this method. We. Woo. DFU. Woo. Recovery mode. Delete the IPSW and start the process. Boom, iOS 10. Now we do the sliver part. DFU mode again. Recovery mode. Now for the fun part. So since that didn't work, I'm just gonna swap the motherboard. Because that's better than just bypassing it. Remove the screws. Izu has no clue that I'm swapping the board and he won't find out until later. Pop the screen off. Release the home button from its trap. Unplug the battery. He's gonna be so surprised. I'm gonna be using this board. Unfortunately, he will lose Touch ID as I cannot find the original home button for this one. But let's get this unscrewed so we can put it in the new housing. The board is now out, so let's swap it. Whoop, reassemble. And finally, put the screen on. Power it up. Reset, because this has my data on it now. Reset. No iCloud locks here in it. Now downgrade because he likes 32-bit apps. Woo. 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 Woo.